And anytime Jill Aker Ray is in the kitchen, you know good things are happening, and that's who we've got with us here today. How are you doing, Jill? John Carter. I'm it's good. How are you? Great to see you. And uh, we found out that today is National Cherry Turnover Day. Every day is some kind of national something. It's a celebration day. for me. That's all I do. Hey, I just celebrate I'm food and life. That's I am it. willing to celebrate cherries because I love cherries, and I've had some great uh, cherries recently, just as sweet and all, but not real tart. Well, what, so there's two different kinds of cherries. Mm -hmm. One, the one that you just take here and you just eat and enjoy the sweet right, cherry yes. off the pit and that's what we're accustomed to just for eating cherries it is, it is. Um, they come from washington oregon california mm -hmm. the tart cherries that are used for pies cobblers and turnovers come from michigan normally and you michigan were just and there New York, right? and i was just there so those are the ones that we that we make those desserts with you want to make the desserts with this kind. okay so we're going to make it super easy to okay, do okay let's see how we do this here but we're not going to buy cherry pie filling no okay we're uh, going to use some frozen tart cherries frozen tart cherries a little bit of sugar maybe a third of a cup mm -hmm. cornstarch is oh. an important ingredient in this and you want to mix a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of water. And huh. while I'm doing that, I've got a 375 degree oven. I'm going to have you make the glaze while I get this Ooh, together. How do I make glaze here? So you just take the, this bowl, you're going to put your milk or cream, a couple tablespoons, and a little bit of vanilla extract and just stir it around with a fork. Right in here. Yep, all right. super easy. All right, and a little bit of vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. And just a little bit is all you need there. That's all you need. And this just, cooks, this hmm. cooks on the stove for 10 minutes and thickens the cornstarch slurry, oh, thick, thickens this up. Yeah. So we're going to cook this on low. You don't want to burn it. Cook it on low, and after 10 minutes, you put a little bit of almond extract. I like that. Ooh, yeah. I like that in my mm, cherry Boy, that desserts. smells great. And then we're going to make it simple because I'm not a really good baker. Uh-huh. I've chilled what was these cherries. Just You All just right. want to cool gotta, them off yeah, a little cool bit. Them off. Cool them off. And then we're going to use our basic, you know, the pop crescent roll. Yes. Right? It'll be any brand, too. We're not going to say nope, Pillsbury nope. on this show. <laughs> I'm okay. not saying it. <laughs> and then you want to make sure you don't get too greedy because you're going to want a lot of cherries. I'm a but if you get greedy, person, you yes. can't roll it up. All right. You take those simple crescent rolls, and you could also use puff pastry. That's delicious. These are super easy. Mm. And you, you're you going to put it together like that. Boom. Put it in the oven, and it comes out like we've just run out of time. So I've got to, we've got to say, oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Set them down there. And then you can put a little bit of this glaze on top I'll of them. Glaze them on top. All right. Drizzle that glaze, and we're all set to, to celebrate. A Chef Jill Aker Ray. Nobody knows National Cherry Turnover Day like she does. Great recipe. We'll have it on WBTV.com. Thanks, Jill.